Well, hello again. My name is Lenny Lagardia, and I have the privilege, boys and girls, moms and dads, grandpa and grandmas, to bring you the word today. But today is not just an ordinary day, right, Samson? Right. Today is Mother's Day. And I have some special friends of mine with me, and they're going to give points because God has put some very, very special things on their heart for their mothers. And so Samson Brown is going to share our first point. Lauren Slyker is going to share the second point. I can't wait for you to hear these points. And then last, I have the privilege of letting the entire world know that this is my oldest daughter, Letha. And she's joining me today because we have a very special testimony about Mother's Day. Something happened a long time ago to my mother. She fell down 18 cement stairs and she broke just about everything. And she was in traction for months. And Samson, when she fell down those stairs, she was 98 pounds. So it was like the wind could blow her away already when she was healthy. But when she laid in traction, she got down to 68 pounds. And so she had to recover. And then all of a sudden, it was time to dedicate this beautiful person right here before the Lord. And man, was she a cutie as an infant. And she's a cutie right now. And so we went to the church to do this. But prior to getting to the church, my father was not supposed to tell my mother that we were doing the dedication because we were going to record the dedication and then bring it to her house because she could not walk on her feet. She had to be carried everywhere that she needed to go. But she found out about the dedication and I won't even tell you what she said to me. She called me up on the phone. In closing, she said, you better get up to my house, Leonard, and pick me up. I am not missing Letha's baby dedication. To make a long story short, my father and I carried her into the car. We carried her into the church. My wife, Tracy, had to go somewhere to check on something, and I went somewhere, and my mother was left there, and we could not find my father. And when we all came back to our seats, my mother was not there. She made her way down to the front of the church, and there was an evangelist. His name was Lonnie Frisbee. He was speaking in our church. And this was a church that I was starting to go to for the very first time. And all of a sudden, my wife, she pointed to the altar, and there was my mom jumping up and down, completely healed. And she gave her life to Jesus. The reason I'm telling you the story is to glorify the Lord. But my testimony about my mom is that she had amazing persistence. She would not stop at anything. Boys and girls, I want you to get your Bibles. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, it says this. Sons, you're a son, listen to your father's instructions. But then it goes on and says, but make sure you do not forget your mother's teaching, for it will be like a garland, a wreath around your neck. And that's what I want you to memorize, boys and girls. I want you to pay attention to your mom. My mother had persistence. She got healed. And my daughter got dedicated before the Lord. And it was a glorious day. Samson, give us our first point. You'll see these points up on the, sp the screen. The first point is that moms are very persistent. Sometimes they don't take no for an answer. My wife is a mother and... Very rarely does she take no for an answer, Samson. <laughs> so talk to us, Samson. Give us your point. So I'd like to talk about respect. And so we need to respect our mothers. Uh, we need to show them respect, and we need to bless them. And why we do this isn't just because, oh, our mothers, we love them. They're so nice. But all the work they do for us. There's so much they do that just goes past us, and we don't see. But a... Um, gives so much to us, but yet we don't see it. And, and you told me that we're not to take them for granted. Right. right. You can't take them for granted for how much they do, but so often we do when they just do simple things like clean the house and, do, and doing chores, their own chores. Speaking of chores, though, um, a little tip for the kids, like me. 
when the chores, when you compare them to how much your mother has to do, Amen. they're nothing. They're it's like literally like snapping your fingers. Sadly, I cannot snap my fingers, but <laughs> there you have it, my quiet version. <laughs> so there you have it. That's good, Samson, because sometimes my wife will say, "Would you take out the trash?" And I go, "I gotta go. I gotta go to a meeting." I go, and I don't remember that she has thirteen things that she's gonna do when I leave the house and all I need to do is take out the trash. Exactly. So number one point, respect. Lauren, number two. Um, I honor your mom. Uh, your mom has so much she knows. She's lived so much life. Uh, she was once your age too and she had her own mom and she's been through all the troubles that you have been through and she she knows you and she loves you and she will become your best friend. My mom, my best friend, because I listen to her and I know that she's wise and that she loves me. So yeah. And Lauren, I know that your mom is your best friend. And one thing I wanna point out about you is that you're not afraid to tell people that she's your best friend. And boys and girls, you may not want to hang out with your parents sometimes and you may push them away, but I'm telling you today, Get over it. Get over it. Because your mother, as Lauren says, is your friend. And we're not to be ashamed or take our, our moms for granted. Letha, you have an amazing mom. I do. And, and I, I want do. you to share our third point. Um, I would say, when we're doing this on the spot, um, my mother has an enormous amount of compassion and understanding. Um, she's brilliant. Everything that is good about me and all the good that I do in this world every day is because of her. I get my best attributes from my mother. Not me. <laughs> I get my best and worst <laughs> attributes. No, keep going. This is beautiful. Um, she said, the biggest thing is no matter what happens, no matter what you do, no matter what decisions you make or mistakes you make, your mother will always be there for you. And you just have to be honest with her. Absolutely 100% honest because there's nothing that you can't get through with your mom and your dad. Excellent. So I'm going to ask all of us to just look into the camera. And boys and girls, I want you right now to look at your moms. Wherever you're at, I want you to look at your mom. We're going to look in the camera. And my mom's in heaven. Okay? And I miss her every single day because she turned her life around for God. And she became compassionate. And she became a woman of prayer. She sat every morning, 6 a.m. in our prayer room here at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City and gave her heart to the Lord. So mom, I wanna thank you for everything that you gave me, for sticking with me and defending me. Thank you. Samson, go talk to your mom right now. Thank you, mom, so much for everything you've done. Thank you for just caring for me and protecting me, even when it's not 100% necessary. Thank you for everything you've done. Awesome, Lauren. Look, your mom, this is your mom. <laughs> um, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, mom, for always allowing me to pursue my dreams, no matter how crazy they are or how expensive they are. You've always so worked so hard just to let me be myself and learn learn life and thank you for being tender with me and carrying me through my hardest times and the best of times. You've always loved me better than anyone in the world and understood me better than anyone in the world. And I owe everything in my whole life to you. Thank you so much. Oh, that's good. Vita, talk to you. Oh, my mom. Um, I see all your sacrifice and I, I feel it every day. And I appreciate and love everything you do. Um, even when nobody is looking or watching, um, your love is always there, and it's never going to go anywhere. And uh, I see you, and I love you. So boys and girls, let's pray for our moms. Father, we thank you for our mothers. We ask today that we would truly, truly look into their heart and have a grateful heart for ourselves. We thank you. We ask you to bless our families, God, during this season. Allow us to become good listeners. Allow us to respect, not take them for granted. Allow us to understand that they are friends. Allow us to understand the sacrifices that they do. Father, I thank you for this opportunity. I pray you bless this day. Moms all across the earth, we love you. Happy 
Mother's Day. Amen.